birthday present from your father. Oh, thank you. I mean, please say thank you to my father for me. You disobeyed me, Adrian. Take a look at that school. Yes, father. You will never, I say never, go back there again. Father, Without no. your bodyguard. He will drop you off and pick you up every day. <gasps> Natalie has offered to organize your new schedule. You'll be continuing your music, Chinese, and fencing classes, and your photo shoots. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you, father. I'm sorry I became so furious over a book. I shouldn't have taken it without your permission. Uh, that book was the very last gift your mother gave to me before, before she disappeared. All I have left of her is this book, and you. But I know I can't keep the book or you locked up in this house forever. Does that mean you'll let me go back to school then? Hmm. Thank you, Father. <sighs> Sit down, Adrian. All you had to do was ask me. I'm sorry, Father. I tried to talk to you, but you were so busy. In fact, I always feel like you don't want to talk at all, so... You should have trusted me, son. It's important for you and I to be able to trust each other. If you were to begin hiding the truth from me, then I'd naturally start imagining all kinds of things. <laughs> hmm. Right, Father. Thank you. You can go to your friend's concert if that's what you really want. Oh, thank you, Father. Hmm? What is it? It's a gift I've made for Marinette. We're organizing a surprise birthday party for her. Marinette? You know, the girl who won the fashion contest? She made the hat I wore at your show. She's a really awesome girl. She loves helping others I don't remember giving you permission to go to your friend's birthday party. Please, Father. Marinette deserves to have all her friends there. All right, then. Thank you, Father. <laughs>